Wow, have a look at all these two kilo crabs caught in the smaller pots. I'm an esky. Absolute shockers with crabs. Nudging two kilo. I enjoy using the smaller uh, crab pots up this way um, because I can get them I can get them in the mangroves, around the mangroves where the bigger crab pots won't sit around the mangrove roots. So I can hide my crab pots up up these creeks and up the mangroves up here without anyone seeing them. And I can get in behind a mangrove and stick a crab pot in around the structure of the, the mangrove roots where the crabs are and then throw me flat up the top of the mangroves. Where someone with those big traps has to put it out in the open water because they can't get in behind them. Up this way, um, crab pot preference, um, I'm, up, I'm up in the mangroves, right? I'm in the creeks, I'm, I'm in a meter of water on the high tide only. Um, in an hour's time, there'll be no water where I am. And same thing tonight, it'll come in about 5.30. There'll be water here till about 8 o'clock tonight and there'll be no water. So I'm, I'm crabbing mud flats up in the mangroves. So I might seem to get better crabs up here. Um, you want to crab an incoming tide. It's really important. Um, the full run of the incoming tide, the crabs are more active. You'll get also 80% more crabs at night time um, so it's generally a rule of thumb if you want some really good quality crabs you've got to have a night tide a big incoming tide at night time um, to get you better crabs but I, I get crabs all year round in the middle of the day you just got to work hard for them um, hey guys Stevie C here back out crabbing Depends on where you're fishing, really. If you're, if you're mud crabbing down on the in, on the Sunshine Coast and some of the deeper river systems and stuff like that, you can get away with chicken frames and mullet heads and whatnot. Um, when you come north here uh, in the Fraser Coast area, the waters are a lot shallower where you crab. Um, you, you really need fresh bait, uh, fresh mullet frames, fresh mullet. Uh, what I find best up here, or any any good fish frames that you might have just caught or reef frames um, seem to work really well. There's a lot of tidal current up this way and the smell gets right back deep into the, into the mangroves so the fresher the bait the, the better quality crabs you get up here. Um, yeah, fishing southeast corner um, can be quite difficult sometimes. It's best times of the year they, they, they generally say any month with an R in it because that's the months we normally get the rain but I get crabs all year round. Uh, it's just a matter of placing your pots strategically in the mangroves and in the creeks where mud crabs are and, and, and providing a fresh bait and you'll always get them all year round. So have a look at some of these big fat mud crabs that Stevie C has been catching in our smaller pots. The smaller pots are making a huge difference to his mud crab fishing. He can put the smaller pots right in them where they need to be in amongst the mangroves where the big pots just can't get to. It just makes more sense and he is cleaning up with the small pots. Every so often a product comes along that's a real game changer. And this is what Stevie C has found these smaller crab pots when fishing the mangroves is crucial it is vital it is so important to catch good crabs all year round Stevie C has been testing these smaller pots for the last three to four months putting these pots right in the mangroves where the big pots just can't get to just makes more sense common sense it will catch a lot more crabs for you there are a couple important factors here but when the tide rushes in the water will cover the pots and out come the crabs and they walk straight in the smaller pots two it is crucial to use mullet flesh mullet frames or mullet head they seem to be the best bait although if you can get some uh, saltwater catfish uh, their oily flesh is also quite productive as well and 
DVDs, uh, river pots, overnight soak, got three crabs and a fish, nice muddy there. So they do work, and um, we've had them right up the creek here. And they're going to go around the creek here. We're right up in the mangroves. In amongst the mangrove roots, and right behind the mangrove roots, where the crabs are going to be. Big, cumbersome, huge pots don't work in this technique. But this is a extremely highly productive yielding technique. Catching mangrove crabs or mud crabs right in amongst where they are living in the mangrove roots and behind the mangrove line. So here are our heavier meshed smaller pots which have been a real game changer for Stevie C catching crabs all year round using this technique up in the mangrove roots and uh, behind the mangrove line. They collapse flat and they take up a lot less room which is so convenient in your boat. The new heavier meshed smaller mud crab pots is a lot stronger and better when using this technique using smaller pots for up in the mangroves and behind the mangrove roots. So these smaller pots really do work well guys. Jump onto this technique and good mud crabbing to you all.